there's there's a level of frustration uh, amongst uh, some of the citizens in, in Vaughan, um, and I understand that frustration. I think uh, some of the actions that we've seen and that have been written about uh, by the council and the mayor uh, are obviously disturbing to uh, those taxpayers. Um, but you know, I have to uh, be cautious about uh, what I can and can't comment on matters that are before the courts. Obviously, I'm, I'm restricted in what I can say. Uh, we have sent uh, our staff just uh, a couple of months ago now into um, uh, meet with our with uh, the Vaughan officials at the, the bureaucratic level. And they've reported back to me that uh, everything is in order from a financial management point of view. Uh, I think a lot of the disputes that we're seeing are based on uh, political issues and campaign expenses and personalities amongst people in the community and members of council and the mayor. And uh, ultimately, my, my objective is that uh, you know, the, the public and the council and the mayor collectively get their act together and start concentrating on more important issues. You know, economic development, in my view, is the most important issue any municipality could be dealing with in the midst of a recession. How do you attract business? How do you expand business? How do you retain jobs? Uh, and uh, some of the political activities that are taking place in, in Vaughan are not helpful because they don't send out the kind of positive signal businesses need to receive in order to invest in that community. You know, Vaughan has uh, tremendous uh, potential. It's um, it's a great uh, uh, great part of the uh, of the GTA, uh, and uh, ultimately, you know, uh, the great thing about democracy is that uh, you know the democracy every four years uh, at the municipal level um, will allow the public to say which direction they want their city council and their mayor to go uh, towards. And that election is coming up next year, and my hope is that uh, once the election is over, uh, we can get back to uh, stability uh, and uh, you know, rowing the boat in the same direction so that you know, Vaughan can continue to be a great community. Well, again, uh, the matters that are uh, before the courts, uh, you can't have the province intervening because that's just not acceptable to have politicians at any level meddling in a, uh, a matter that's sub um, Secondly, um, you know, I, I came from a, an era where I was a mayor and the province treated us uh, like a child and they were always micromanaging us. I'm not going to micromanage Vaughan. It's not my role to micromanage a duly elected council. The public may not like some of the actions of their elected officials, but if they're illegal, uh, there are processes in place to take care of those through the police, through the courts. Um, if they're unhappy with the uh, goings-on of decisions, um, then again, uh, that's where democracy the great strength of democracy. If, you know, if you're not happy with the direction of our government or the federal government or your local government, uh, your choice is to do a couple of things. One, I tell people all the time, if you're not happy, don't sit on the sidelines, put your name on the ballot. Don't simply gripe about the councillor X, Y, and Z doing all sorts of things you're not happy with. Great, if you can do a better job, put your name on the ballot or get involved in someone else's campaign. I think, you know, um, if anything, the the activities involving expenses and so on um, uh, have acted as a catalyst for all municipalities to uh, wake up and recognize, you know, there are certain things that are not acceptable, uh, you know, to use tax dollars for. And I know, for instance, um, at the, uh, the provincial uh, level, all of our expenses are FOIable, you know, under the Freedom of Information Act, as they are, of course, uh, municipally. And um, I think the citizens have every right to go and not harass their elected officials, but to press them very hard as to what you're spending your money on. You know, I think the uh, advent of allowing an integrity commissioner to be created, an ombudsman to be created, that was part of our government's initiative, are good things. The brighter uh, the light that shone on uh, 
the activities of government, the better, in my opinion. And uh, that, uh, you know, you shine more light, you see all of the warts. And uh, some of them are not pretty, but at the end of the day, um, those individuals uh, have to go back to the people, and the people will decide whether they're satisfied with their representation from the previous four years. But, you know, there's, there's very um, limited uh, role that I have legally to sort of go in. There's this sense that I can go and basically take over Vaughan and act as mayor of Vaughan. Well, I don't have that authority, and uh, I suspect even if I did, uh, I wouldn't be, you know, riding on a white horse into Vaughan to, to take charge. Um, you know, I think there's, uh, you know, I think also the community has to um, take responsibility as well. You know, by being constructive in their criticism um, and. Um, making sure that they, they act as advocates and watchdogs of the council, which in some cases some of the folks that write to me seem to be doing. But uh, at the same time, um, you know, I think those issues that are before the courts, uh, you know, I would be, you know, uh, ripped up and down uh, in the legislature if I ever started meddling in a court process and offering gratuitous advice in the midst of a, a matter that's before the courts. I would lose my job, and I'm not prepared to lose my job by meddling in a, in a matter that's before the courts. Yeah. Well, um, it's uh, still ongoing. Um, I have to, um, uh, I suspect probably within the next couple of months, uh, I will have uh, something to announce whether we're going forward with any changes or any substantive changes or minor changes uh, and uh, if we are going to go down that route have them in place before the start of the municipal election season so uh, a final decision has not been made there's a tradition within the ministry that after every election we do a review sometimes we uh, bring forward changes to the act sometimes we don't last time the only change we brought forward was the four-year term so no decision has been made by the government uh, because I have not put forward my recommendations yet. But uh, my hope is that that would be done within the next uh, couple of months.